trans people of rude did who successfully pass. What differences did you notice in the way people treated you compared to your birth gender? Female co-workers tend to get yelled at by guess more. I've noticed I deal with a lot less BS from them. When I tell them they can't do something they listen versus before they used to scream at me and call me names. Ugh the number of times a customer has told me they're having a problem in an angry voice. I'll tell them the solution and they'll just talk over me telling it doesn't work they already tried when I know it will work. Then I do it and it fucking works. I wish people would be more patient and just listen. See if it works, then if it doesn't we can go from there. I just keep telling them the same solution until they're ready to listen. Boy do I get a lot of customers who just want to bitch about how bad they've been treated. Okay, sir, but I can solve your problem so we're just wasting our time here. Living as a woman now. It's really hard for people to take you seriously. I'm generally an assertive person and I used to be able to get people to follow my leg because I sound like I know what I'm doing. People question me a lot now about my authority and what I know. I find that I have to prove myself to both men and women. And if I try to be assertive, most men will just talk over you or ignore you and call you bossy behind your back. And also the hand telling you to shut up when I've never gotten that before. Or they'll just talk over you and ignore you. There's also a general mistrust that I'm right, even when they know I'm right. Like I can't possibly be correct in a given situation unless I go to extreme lengths to show others that they're wrong. And even then they won't accept it. This is for things that have a factually correct side to it. It really sucks and I hate having to do the song and dance to show that I'm not an idiot. Compliments have changed. I used to get called smart or intelligent. But nowadays most compliments are about my clothes. Or my nails or my general appearance. I don't mind this because I am incredibly insecure about how I look. People are generally kinder and are more open to you as well, which is nice. Though the biggest change is how people see my relationship. I have a boyfriend, and we're cute and are adorable. It used to encourage a lot of disgust, hatred and side-eyeing before which made it really uncomfortable. I think we're still feeling a bit of effects from it. It's hard for us to be affectionate in public because we're both a bit afraid of people being assholes about it. Even though we've been together for so many years. Last thing. People touch you a lot. Like I want my personal space back. People aren't afraid to get really close to you. Touch you. Stop patting my head holy shit. People brush up against me more often. I've had people lean in to smell my hair. Ugh. And also people staring at you uncomfortably and you just have to sit there and pretend that you don't notice it. Trans woman. My mum is much more protective of me. Constantly warning me about this and that danger. She's also more judgmental about my appearance. I love her to bits and I don't think she did it on purpose. But it's definitely interesting being able to compare my experiences as a daughter versus as a son. My favorite was one day where I wore a top that showed a lot of cleavage. And she said I dress too much like a white girl. Oh god, this so much. I don't exactly pass yet. I'm getting close. But my mom is so much more invested in my appearance now than before. Before I started transitioning and presenting female, she pretty much drew the line at looking like a slob. Now, she picks apart everything. Don't get me wrong. I love my mother. But she clearly has no experience having a daughter. Edit. R.I.P. my inbox. Lol. My mom and I actually have a really good relationship. She picks apart everything was definitely a little bit of hyperbole 95% of her comments are extremely positive and very helpful. Things like helping me find the best place to part my hair, and whether what I'm wearing is a total dud of an outfit in an objectively bad way. Only once or twice has she actually stepped over the line on what to say or how to say it. Considering she has no other daughters, and that I blindsided my family with this at age 31. They had no clue, I think she's done extremely well. I love my mother and wouldn't trade her for the world. A little late to this but one of the biggest things for me is walking in the dark alone. I got harassed and cat called when I was as young as 13 but now I'm an unassuming bearded dude and no one looks twice at me at night. Most of my friends are women and I've warded off some creepy dudes by walking with them before. I don't like letting them walk alone to their cars or apartments when we're out together either because I know how scary and shitty it is to be harassed. On the flip side, I'm pretty vigilant about walking near women who are alone now. I'm short and look like a mild-mannered nerd but that's never stopped someone from being a creep before. 
I try to slow down if a woman is ahead of me or focus on my phone make a phone call. Hey, what's up everyone? Okay, PJ here. Thanks for watching the video. If you liked what you just saw, remember to hit that like button like it's a thick booty. Be sure to subscribe for more videos like this every single day. Also, be sure to check out and subscribe to my second channel. I'll be posting about every two weeks there, and the content will vary anywhere from vlogs to life updates to animations to shit posts, kinda like this. Greetings! This is human content! It is what humans like! Sometimes it is nice outside. Sometimes it is not. Look at the snow that is everywhere. It is cold and it is everywhere. See you tomorrow. Peace.